Here at Castle Beach, Falmouth, Cornwall, is an example of a rocky shore habitat. Rocky shores are biologically rich environments, home to an abundant and greatly diverse range of organisms. This is due to the number of ecological niches present within the intertidal habitat. Rocky shores are the most variable type of shore, with characteristics dependent on the type of rock it is composed of. These characteristics also influence the habitation of flora and fauna Here's present. Here is an example of bladder rat, Fucus fasciculosus. It is a large olive brown coloured seaweed which attaches to rocky substrates through a hold fast, which is just here onto the rock. Oh, now I've got to find a bee that anemone is. I've just sat in the puddle. Did you? Did you? Bee that can display rather aggressive behaviour through its tentacles in order to compete for food and for space. However, due to their small size, they're often defeated by larger anemones. A key behavioural aspect is contraction. Due to the tidal nature of the rocky shore, they are often left exposed for prolonged periods. Contraction of the body column enables water conservation to prevent them from drying out. They also display a number of defensive behaviours through inflation of the body column to reduce damaged areas, detachment of the substrate to escape predation, or through the release of nematocytes containing toxins. Sea letters are a type of green algae. The frond has rather thin, soft blades, but in comparison is very tough to withstand the input of wave action. It is also distinguished by the frond shape, often being split or divided, with the outer edge being wavy. Its habitat. It grows primarily on rocks in shallow areas of the mid to lower intertidal zone, which are relatively protected by the waves. However, being a photoautotroph, they must have access to sunlight in order to produce food through photosynthesis. Mating occurs after the female has undergone a moult and her shell is soft. The male often displays protective behaviour until her shell hardens. The female then carries thousands of fertilised eggs under her body cavity until they hatch during the spring months. They hatch into larvae called zoea. These larvae moult several times before developing into young crabs. Do you want to go to the seaside? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that everybody wants to go I fell in love at the seaside I handled my charm with time I 